Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris Taylor. I'm 26 years old from Northampton and on this channel, it's just going to be my place to be able to do my probably weekly vlog updates into how I'm feeling as a social media agency owner. Now, this video is just to give you a little bit of a background on me of how I've been able to replace my £45,000 a year income into a place where now I work from home, I work from wherever in the world that I want to, uh, earning good money, not amazing money. I've replaced my income, replaced that job very, very easily. I have seven social media agency clients now. I know I did five there, that was weird. Seven social media agency clients now that we manage, plus an education company where I've taught nearly a thousand people going through our, our social media training. And I want to really share how actually anybody can do it because this stuff actually, although takes a lot of hard work, is actually really simple. And my whole aim out of all of this is to inspire others to be able to do the same. And again, use this as a way for me to, uh, to keep myself accountable, to share the good, the bad and the ugly of my journey in a place where I guess I feel safe. Um, I love YouTube. I've used it. I've watched so many other people do this. Like again, if I get a little bit of hate for it, I don't really care. But ultimately, this is a place for me to be able to get my journey out there. If people find it interesting, they're great. If they don't, it's just my place to keep myself accountable. So I've been in business for two and a half years now, so not particularly long. And I've learned a shed load along the way. And in this, really, there's three key steps that I want to take you through. Um, to be able to get to this similar position, no matter where it is that you're at. Now, I don't care if you want to be a property investor. Again, I've, I've been in that industry. We built out a serious Airbnb company that I'm now no longer involved of. Um, I trained that as well for a particular per time period. It must have been for about a year. Um, I then went into a social media agency. I now have a storytelling, content creation, brand building academy, which helps people, I guess, get content out like this. Now, I'm lucky enough to be able to be okay in front of video. I don't mind talking to a lens. And we kind of help people, I guess, tell their stories online. And I've always felt a little bit hypocritical because although I've done it over on Instagram and on Facebook and on LinkedIn, I've never actually done it on the place where a lot of people do their vlogs. And for me, this place seems to be the best bet. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, step one, quite simply for me, back when I first started in business to replace that 45 grand a year income, was quite simply picking an idea and finding someone that had already done it. Because I won't lie, like I've wanted to start a business for so long, like two and a half, three years before my 18th birthday. So yeah, that's God, 11, 12 years ago, I decided that I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted the freedom, but I just had no idea. Like I had no concept of what I could do, why people would pay me, why... I would be able to do it. I was looking at Richard Branson, flipping Elon Musk, all these big business owners, thinking, like, what's different to them compared to me? And I couldn't quite work it out. And it actually took me finding a mentor to be able to understand that the only thing that's different is that they worked out the first step. They then got the support and the encouragement to take that first step. They had the courage to do it. And from there, they just focused on how many problems could they solve? That's what I've realised business is, is how many problems can you solve? The more that you can, the more money you make. So for me, when I first started, it was property, it was Airbnb, it was serviced accommodation. My ultimate aim was to get as many properties with my business partner at the time as I could, because they were giving me flipping £1,000, sometimes 1500 quid a month. Now that reduced quite quickly, depending on the time that we were looking at it, but still really, really good. Like it worked really, really well for me. But the best thing that I ever did is this, is document my journey, right? I say to absolutely everybody, I've got so much footage of me back when I first started in property. I'm gonna be sharing that on this channel with you. But things were not easy. Things, I came across a lot of challenges. But the one thing that made the biggest difference was that I kept myself accountable by telling my story on this camera, by consistently showing up on the platforms where I built a brand for myself, and I really, really want everybody else to kind of take that. Whoever's watching this, like the biggest thing that you could ever do is keep yourself accountable by posting online what it is that you're doing each day. Show people the good, show people the bad, show people the ugly, because the one thing that you will never regret doing is building a brand. Now, step two, once you then start to take a bit of action, you start to generate some results, you start to generate some money, you go and acquire a property, you go and sell some products, you go and sell a service, whatever it is that you're looking to do. 
The second thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is looking at, and again, it's not sexy, I'm sorry, it's really not, but it's your processes, it's your systems. Now, without that, you can't scale. Trust me, I've been there, I've done it. You really need to focus in on locking down and understanding the processes and systems that it takes to deliver your product and service. The quicker you can do that, the quicker you can scale because ultimately, yes, building a brand is great. I'm gonna be talking about that loads on this channel as we go through in the future. However, like if you cannot systemize, if you cannot automate as a business owner by just tracking what it is that you do, get a notepad, it's very similar to this. Get a notepad out, write everything down. When you've got that written down, you can start to create the processes, start to employ, start to recruit. That will then enable you to become free. The biggest mistake I made was actually leaving one job and going into another. Because as business owners that we all call ourselves when we first start, we get trapped very, very quickly thinking we can do everything on our own. And that is not the case. And that is not what I want this channel to be about. I want this channel to really show you the ways in which you can become the best business owners possible, the best social media marketers possible, the best property investors possible. All of this stuff I still do, I'm going to talk about. But step two is getting those systems and processes. So all I ask you to do is just note down what it is that you're doing every single day. Then look at it at the end of the week and start to work out what can I outsource? What could I potentially look to automate? And what can I look to systemize? Three ways to be able to then make yourself redundant so you can focus on the stuff that really, really matters. The third step from there really is focusing in on your marketing. So I guess this is very, very general in this video, right? But these were the three things that made the biggest difference to me. And if I was to go back with my marketing strategy, I'd look at three things. I look at personal brand building on social media. So starting this YouTube channel earlier, creating an Instagram profile, getting inside some Facebook groups, documenting on your LinkedIn account, showing people and connecting with people so you can start to build your brand upwards. The second thing that I would then do is focus in on public speaking. Now, public speaking was the thing for me that took me from someone who's just in a startup to someone with a serious level of authority. Now, I'm still doing loads and loads of public speaking as, we, as I kind of sit here and record this video, right? It's incredibly powerful. And when you've been on a journey, when you've got a story to tell, and when you can do that, that's the point at which your brand will start to accelerate because people always ask me, how do I go on Instagram? How do I go on Facebook? How do I grow my brand? Getting out there in front of as many people as possible is the best way to build your brand, whether that's going out to networking events or doing it the quicker way as being the person that everyone comes to watches on stages. I'm gonna be showing you how I've gone out and got my gigs um, throughout this channel also. But public speaking has been an amazing way to generate authority. The third way is press. Now this is being gold for us. Being featured in magazines, articles, websites, blogs, having people send our content out to their email lists. Again, simple stuff, but such an incredible way to build your brand. I am so focused in on personal branding right now. It is huge. And leveraging press to do so will accelerate your journey over and over and over again. So to be able to replace my income, okay, look, I've not covered the exact steps I'm gonna take. I don't wanna waffle on too much in this video. I wanna to get to the point, I wanna deliver. But really ultimately is finding out what business idea I wanted to do. Finding a mentor that then can guide me throughout that process. The most important thing, if you can't get started, you'll never have a business. Step two was then identifying the systems, the processes that I'm doing day to day to make sure that I'm not leaving one job and getting into another. Step number three, again, of my journey was then building the personal brand, documenting my journey, stuff that I'm gonna be covering in a shed load throughout this channel as we go through. But ultimately, the thing that's gonna to matter to you the most is building your personal brand on social media. So creating content, documenting your journey, getting on as many stages and in front of as many people telling your story as possible to build that personal brand. And third, is really trying to get into other people's databases, other people's articles, magazines, target them, get yourself out there. Those strategies I'm gonna cover for you in future videos. But again, that is how I did it. Wasn't that difficult? Find the business idea, find a mentor that's done it, follow what they say, systemize, automate, outsource, to focus then on the marketing of personal branding, public speaking, and PR. It's as simple as that. 
don't need to complicate it anymore. Yes, there's other stuff that goes on, other stuff that I'm going to talk about, but they were the three fundamental things that I decided to do that enabled me to accelerate out of my job to give me the freedom where I have the time to be able to do what I want when I want to do it and do the stuff that I really, really enjoy. If you like this video at all, again, I know all of you have already shown me so, many support, so much support already. Please hit that subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me. Let me know in the comments if there's any videos or any questions that you've got. I'm gonna do loads and loads of Q and A's as we go. For me, this is about letting you know my story, letting you know my journey. And if you enjoy it, great. If you don't, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.